Kate and Angelina Jolie were spotted in Pearly today asking Barry Chuckle for his autograph. I love monkeys, I love monkeys, all those happy little chirpy little monkeys with their tails and their bananas. I think that if we all were monkeys, we'd have happier manadas. Give me monkeys, lots of monkeys, for you know that it's the monkeys I adore. If my love said that she did not love those monkeys, I wouldn't love her As this is the last of the series, we would like to thank all the monkeys that have been involved in these title sequences over the last few months. I have been assured that the peanuts are in the post. Yes, their names are scrolling across the bottom of the screen now, and uh, may I say, without every single one of them, the show would be pretty much exactly the same, but with different dancing monkeys. So thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woo! Monkeys! <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Little Howard's Big Question. It's going to be a little bit different this week because I'm coming to you from my cartoon cupboard. You see, we've received literally fictional letters from boys and girls and students and slightly embarrassed parents in their mid-30s from all over the country who want to see the best bits from my show again. So this week, I went up to my dopey sidekick, Big Howard, and I went... Hi, <laughs> Little Howard, I've come up with another one, my Questions! Can we do a clip show, please? <laughs> Unfortunately, he was in the greenhouse at the time and he was so surprised that he flew through the glass wall and through next door neighbour's greenhouse and landed in the next door neighbour but one's greenhouse. He slightly squished one of my tomato plants. Just my luck. Actually, come to think of it, something bad happens to Big Howard every time I use my big question klaxon. Oh, no. Bye-bye. I didn't realise that happened Every single time I use my big question klaxon. That must be really annoying. Still, I think it's worth it. Lil Howard! <coughs> Lil Howard, can you come out of there, please? Leave me alone! I need my animated space! You're not doing a clip show in there, are you? No, I'm, uh, playing Philip Schofields and nurses. Uh, without any nurses, because he isn't ill. Sounds plausible. I've invited loads of celebrities round to um, celebrate the end of the series. They're arriving now in the minibus. You've got to come out because Zac Efron really wants to meet you. Uh, and we've nearly run out of squash. Who's Zac Efron? Don't you know who Zac Efron is? OMG lol. He's from High School the Musical. No, I think that's more of a grown-up thing. Kids don't really like that sort of thing at all. Besides, I think I've met enough celebrities in the last 12 weeks. Or longer, if you're watching an iPlayer. So where's Big Howard, then? He's been laid off because we can't afford to pay him. Oh, that's awful. Ancho <laughs> says that's terrible. Curse no Brian off a smile! What on <laughs> earth are you doing here? Well, little Howard invited me up to help get you abducted. Your chosen subject, who stole all the money from our TV programme's budget in two minutes, starting now. Who stole all the money from your TV programme's budget? Oh, um, I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me. Yes, can we switch places? This is quite scary. Could we call security, please? Hello, Mr Jonathan Voss. Hello, little out. How can I help? Well... A lot of money's gone missing from our programme's budget, and someone said they thought you might have it. Who said that? It was that cactus, wasn't it? You're a blow! You watch your mouth, cactus. I'm fed up with you bow bow with me all over the BBC. This ends here and it ends there. Oh, day! Oh, day! It was a flung gallowal! What did he say, Petrie? He said he likes your suit and Help. your hair. He didn't say that! Come here! Wow! <laughs> Come on out, little Howard. 
Beyonce really wants to meet you. Beyonce's not really there. You're not tricking me. No, honestly. She's invited us to go and stay with her and her husband, JZ. They live in a Beyonce castle. You always try to trick me. Like when you tried to trick me into driving all the way to Scotland. What? Where's he lived then? It's just up here. Just along here? Oh, it's just around the corner. It's just along the road and, and up the next one. Scotland? We're in Scotland! Um, that, that's the name of the village he lives in. It's a very big sign for a village. Well, they must be very proud of it. Oh, sounds plausible. This... this is Bonnie Bridge. Bonnie Bridge is in Scotland. I read a magazine article about this. This is where they've had all those UFO sightings. Is it? Oh, that's a stroke of luck. My mistake. That was me tricking you, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Wait a minute. <laughs> I heard a trilling harp. Was that a flashback? Because you know how I feel about dream sequences. Dream sequences, dream sequences, dream sequences. We've just got a letter from a young lad from Earth who'd like us to uh, alien abduct a friend of his. Do you think we could fit it in? Well, we've got Mr and Mrs Granger coming around for Evolution Fondue tonight. You know the Grangers. He's one of the deadly fish people from Sirius B, and she's a whelk. Well, they could come along too. I think they'd enjoy it. Righto. How about 8 for 8.30? 30. Hope the bed bugs don't have talons and great teeth to bite your legs, drain your marrow to the dregs, but I'm sure they won't attack you if you lie here very still. I've checked the bed for monsters. There are several underneath, and they're sharpening their teeth after gorging on the carcass of a boy who bothered grown up. He went like a lamb to slaughter all for just one glass of water, but you're safe for now because there's still a quarter on the left. See that shadow hanging by the door? It could be a dressing gown or nothing more. But it's a rotting corpse of zombie chin. Ah, and I pity any little child who tries to get past him. This is the scariest song I've ever heard. Ding dong! The first way people measured the time was by using the sun. At first, people just looked up to tell what time of day it was, and then they invented sundials. Days were divided up into 24 hours and hours into 60 minutes by the Babylonians 5,000 years ago. Oh, are those the monkeys with the blue bottoms? No, those were baboons. Oh, what colour bottoms did the Babylonians have? And you know that the doctor said that going into flashbacks about dream sequences <laughs> can cause dizziness and dropsy in cartoon oh, boys under know. 10. Oh, 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 okay, well, <laughs> little Howard, I've got to go. I've got to go and get some more toilet paper for Girls Aloud. But just remember everything I've just been saying in the last minute and a half, okay? Yeah, yeah, right then. Sorry about that. We haven't had a chance to show a single clip because of all these dream sequences and flashbacks. Our first clip is from episode one. Now, this wasn't a very good time for me. I, I just came out of a very, very bad dream sequence about me. I, just, I don't want to talk about it all. Although we did just show it in the last montage. Anyway, this is what happened when I tried to stay awake for the rest of my life. Day seven, without sleep. As well as the hallucinations, little Howard is irritable. Pass me the cornflakes! Why won't that dolphin pass me the flipping cornflakes? Hello, Mr. Unicron. Now tell me, have we met? I really think you should go to bed, little Howard. Oh, don't you start. Ah, ah, uh, you, you just caught me there, um, chomping on a tiny green apple. Part of my five food event today that I and you are supposed to eat lots of, uh, so, sorry about that, I thought that clip was longer. Uh, well, let's get on with another request, which says, Dearest Little Howard, 
Please, please, please play the clip when you fell in love. Oh. I'd be forever grateful, lots of love, little Susan. But, well, I'm afraid we don't... Little Susan? Hello. Love. Love's a little like a crush. <laughs> but that's a nudge and love's a bush. Yeah, so thanks very much for your brilliant request. It was amazing, really clever and pretty. Mm. Yeah, shame to let those two big givers split us up like that. Mm. Yeah, OK, little Susan, I I'll pick you up at six on my, on my tricycle. Yeah, it it's like a bicycle, but it's got three wheels. Oh, uh, I I'll back now. See, see you later. <coughs> now then. We have received 65 billion flowery-smelling emails from a computer called Mother, and she demands that we play the best bits featuring our computer, who is called Mother. Now, Mother's not actually our mother, although she might be. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But Big Howard promised to tell me all about it one day, if we get a second series. I know, let's boot up Mother. She'll know what to do. No! No! Hello, just gonna run some diagnostics. Won't take a jiffy. Discs present, one, two, three, yeah. Common sense chip. No, it's not there. Doesn't matter. Mm. No, oh, I dear. think much anyway, George Michael and Pegs. Ooh, hello, lovely chip. She hasn't got a common sense chip, so I have no idea what's logical and what isn't. I think we should leave. Dates. <laughs> Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, yes, dinosaurs are extinct, but how they got that way is open to scientific speculation. One theory says that there was a very severe ice age and they couldn't survive in such a cold climate. Another theory suggests that the giant asteroid smashed into the Earth and wiped them all out instantly. I think it was probably because they left the tap on. What? They left the tap on when they all drowned, that's what I think. I mean, not a lot of scientists agree with me. <laughs> Asteroid, definitely asteroid. Little Howard can't sleep because he's had a nightmare about giant bed bugs, and I can't sleep because Little Howard's had a nightmare about giant bed bugs. You know what helps me sleep? Extremely loud rock music. Brilliant! No! Trash metal, anyone? That sounds lovely. Oh, stop it! No, stop it! Turn it off! Turn it off! What's it like for a killer death robot from space, eh? Just being a head on a shelf surrounded by tat. Oh. Well, perhaps you'll get your own series. Sarah Jane Smith spent 20 years in a cupboard, you know. Oh, I don't think so. I'll just have to get used to it. It's not so bad now, though. No, it isn't, is it? Oh, Simon! Oh, Mother, when we get out of this blessed props cupboard, do you think you and I might hire a gondola and hunt around Venus? Venus? Venice, Venice. Ah, big and little Howard. I foresaw you coming here when you said you'd be back later. Oh, no. What's going on? I am Mystic Mother. Look deep into my webcam and I shall tell your fortune. <coughs> I'm fine, thanks for asking. I didn't. Mother, why have you asked Doris to be our cleaning lady? Well, I went to the doctor's and he said I can't do the housework anymore. Because of my condition. What condition? Apparently, according to his expert medical opinion, I have a computer! <laughs> Never. Lil Howard, have you got the bongos? No. It always smells like that in here. No, the bongo drums. You see, Mel B's a bit upset about something and she's just sitting on the stairs all sad. So Justin Timberlake and Bill Oddie want to cheer her up with the Mexican rumba. Um, we've got the trumpets, but we need the bongos. No, I have not got the bongos. Go away. Right, let's crack straight on with another exciting montage featuring many of the weird and wonderful, but mainly weird people that Big Howard and I have met over the entire course of all of the series. Oh, it's OK, everyone. I found them! Oh, for goodness sake.
Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but I actually had to use some ordinary household objects. Don't worry, though, the principle is as sound as a pound. Really? As much as a pound? Maybe Jet Man shouldn't have had all those bacon sandwiches. Apparently he's sick every time. They have to... Every time he's been, they have to clean the fan. He's very impressive, isn't he? He's almost as good as the experts, isn't he, the way he's flying up there, Jet Man? No, he's rubbish, isn't he? He's terrible. Stop flying! I'm flying! Look at me! Woohoo! I'm flying! Could you tell me your name, please? Enzo. And you in the middle there? Tom. Tom, and you at the end? Charlie. Uh, what is your favourite type of monkey, Enzo? Um, chimpanzee. Chimpanzee, that's his nice answer, yes. And Tom? Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee, we're all going for chimpanzee. What do you think, Charlie? Really? I mean, that is very fine. That is a large monkey. I like the way you think. Um, mine is a pygmy marmoset, the world's smallest monkey, for your information. OK, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go on this roller coaster several times, please, if that's all right, and then tell me how long you think it is, and then we will tell you how long it actually is to find out whether time does actually fly when you are having fun. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to be sick! So, sorry, madam. Now, don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. No! So, when are we going to answer my big question, then? I'm a little bit busy at the moment. What are you doing? This one will hurt quite a lot. No! Is she giving you Botox in your Botox? No, she's giving me nine inoculation injections just in case that lizard gave me some sort of tropical disease. How many injections is the lizard getting? One big one, hopefully. No! Is one of them to stop you turning into a dinosaur? It's not a dinosaur, it's a lizard. I don't think lizard bites work like werewolf or vampire bites. I'm sure I'll be fine. No! Um, Nurse, could you leave the needles in? And then his bum will look like a hedgehog. Oh, well, that's uh, a little bit unorthodox, but uh, also sounds like a laugh. So, yes, I think we'll do that. What? No, no, you could not do No, she can't do that. This is a quiet, respectable area! Big Howard! Hello? What do you think you're doing? Shouting at the top of your voice in the middle of the night for? Oh, I'm sorry! You're still doing it! Oh, I see what you mean. Um, I'm sorry. You wake the whole street up with that stupid fog on mouth of yours. It was my computer. She was playing really, really loud rock music. I don't mind really, really loud rock music. I mean, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it helps me get to sleep. But your shouting doesn't! All I can do is apologise, I'm really... Yeah, well, either you belt up or I'll give you a punch up the bracket. You hear me? Sorry. I've got to be on my forklift at six o'clock in the morning. Good night. Honestly, I... Thank you. Good night. Oi! Do you want to buy and or sell a vast quantity of useless superstitious tat? Then do we have a field full of herbits for you. Get down to the jumbo mumbo jumbo jumbo sale starting Tuesday week. Getting married? Need something old? Need something new? Something borrowed? Something blue? We got plenty of each. All borrowed items must be returned to the people we borrowed them from. No money is returnable. Or why not come down and throw your money away down our ever so good luck wishing well? Each wish just costs two pounds. Or why not make three dreams come true for a fiver? No money is kept in the wishing well overnight. All major credit cards accepted. Can I keep this? So what are you waiting for? Come and have a mooch around the Jumbo Mumbo Jumbo sale in a big field near you. All products are guaranteed to bring you good luck. Oi! No products are guaranteed to bring you good luck. Welcome back to the LHBQ HQ Barbecue. If you've just joined us, I'm in my cartoon cupboard. And where have you been? Think you can just tune in halfway through the show, do you? You people make me sick. Would you like a sausage? I said, would you like a sausage? Lindsay Lohan, I have warned you, do not set off party poppers next to Barack Obama. Roger the Pigeon, what are you doing here? Oh, um, sorry, I didn't know you were in here. I was going to the loo. Oh, the toilet's at the top of the stairs. Oh, don't worry, I don't need a toilet. Oh, 
wait a minute. I thought you were in prison because you stole all that money. Oh, no, I don't do, Bird. I flew free on a technicality. What technicality? Well, I'm a pigeon. Oh. What are you doing in here? I'm doing an all expenses spared end of the series spectacular. Brilliant. Are you going on safari in Africa? Um, no. Are you doing a massive celebrity panto? Um, you're doing a clip show, aren't you? Yes. Play some clips of Big Howard being hit round the head with stuff. I can do it with a laugh. Whoa, blimey. I hope the FBI never have to investigate our toilet. What are you up to, little Howard? Nothing. Hmm. Oh! That hit me in the face, you little slide! Oh! Oh, dear. Go on. Throw it at Big Howard. Oh. <laughs> oh. Tuck it back, Big Susan. We want to do it again. Sergey, eyes right. Oh. Hit him in the bush. Oh. oh, no! I can't wake him up. He's dangerous. Oh. One more time, Sergei. In the bush, Ivan. Hit him! Oh! Hit him! Oh! we are going to keep on doing this until you get it right. Sergei and Ivan are trained ladder swacking experts. They can do this all day. And again! Oh, oh come on, hit him, Ivan! And again! <laughs> Little Howard, have you got Roger the Pigeon in there playing a montage of all the bad things that have happened to me in the series? Um, no. Well, McFly say you have. Oh, you've got McFly checking up on me now, have you? No, they came up here looking for Gwyneth Paltrow's cat. Ah, a cat! Oh, that can mess me up! No, 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 dearie me, these, I'm sure this hole's got smaller. Ah, no, fiddlesticks. Well, two can play at that game, Sonny. I'm going to have a flashback about all the bad things that have happened to you. What? No, you can't! Oh, yes, I can. Uh, could you be careful with that, Big Howard? Of course I'll be careful with that. It's... Oh, sorry, did I... Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I... Oh, you OK? Right. Oh, if I had a nose, that would have been broken. Here, check it here. Oh, 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 we can get oh, this one. <laughs> so, got to go the speed of... That looks simple enough. OK, here we go. Here I come! Oh, oh dear! Oh, it's going a bit quick! Oh, I don't like the speed of light! Why can't I go the speed of dark? Mayday! Oh, oh, the whole series is flashing before my eyes! Oh, no! Are you all right, little Howard? There are 198 sheep. You counted them from down there? I counted the number of hooves that trod on my head and divided by four. <laughs> oh, um, you're back. Oh, little Howard, I've had to abandon the flashback. Shakira's got a nosebleed. Hold it right back, love. Or is it right forward? I never remember. How did it happen? What? Lily Allen, I told you not to let David Cameron anywhere near those Haribo. Yeah, yeah. No, it's no good, lad. You're going to have to smear some butter around me guts. I am not smearing butter around anywhere. Oh, all right, then. Margarine will do. You've gone a bit quiet down there. Have you got to fetch the lard? No! Ah. Right, well, that's just about it for the last in the current series of Little Howard's Big... Oh, oh no! Gwyneth <coughs> Paltrow's cat's in the attic! <coughs> ah! Oh, no, get off! No, honestly, I really like sliding doors. <coughs> oh, get off! Oh, oh, me feathers! Oh, dear. Little Howard, come out here at once. You are doing a clip show. I'm not. I know you are. You, too, wanted to watch News Round. Who, too? You, too. Which, too? Well, th the edge... Larry Munn and Jr., if you must know. Anyway, the edge of Larry Munn and Jr. off of you two wanted to watch News Round, and we turned on Children's BBC, and you're on it doing a clip show. Um, well, if you don't come out, I'm coming in. No, you can't! This is my cartoon cupboard! You just watch me. What have I told you about doing a clip show without an adult presenter present? Ding. Ah! I'm a cartoon! Well, it's a cartoon cupboard. What did you expect? Well, 
I was expecting a big song to end the episode with like we normally do. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the end of the show, isn't it? Oh, look, there's Coldplay. Hello, Coldplay! Well, we better play one of our favourite songs for the show. Thanks very much for watching. Bye! That was good, wasn't it? That was very successful, I think. Better than the ones that you're in. Is there anybody out there? If there is, could you please come and take Big Howard? Cos he's never really been to space. He is big, but he's easily overpowered. If there's anybody out there, I'd be grateful if you stayed out there at home. I don't want to go on holiday. I'd be happy with a fortnight out in Rome. If there's anybody out there, could you please come here and take my friend? Show him all of the If there's anybody out there, I'd like to tell you that I'm happy where I am and you wouldn't really like me much. I'm a rotter, I'd be better off in Rotterdam. Let me watch enough TV If there's anybody out there I'd be grateful if you stay right where you are Cos I get a little travel sick I'd be very sick if I travel that far If there's anybody out there Show him all the stars and a black hole Cos he's never really been to space And he always honks a remote control What? Is that what all this is about? I wouldn't let you watch that film last night. Well, yes, it looked brilliant. And it had aliens in it. Well, I recorded it. I forgot to tell you. You can watch it when we get home. Oh. Um. If there's anybody out there, we are very sorry to have more than you. Carry on invading stars, going shopping or whatever it is you do. If there's anybody out there, Ignore all the things that we just said Carry on assimilating Mars Tumble drying or perhaps just stay in bed Stay in bed Ciao! What the devil? Leonardo da Vinci. Ingenious. I think so. Bring it on. No one's gonna take me alive. I'll stake my luck on it. Count me alive! Hey! The genius returns. Brand new Leonardo. Gorgeous. Starts with a special double episode. Starts Thursday from 5 on the CBBC channel.